I guess. So, let's say you're out here and you're orbiting the star, and now you want to uh, go to any of the planets. Thanks to my friend Mercury who helped me with this. So, step one, you want to choose the planet that you want to go to, and you right click and you set target. After you set the target, you can see that the line is white now, and there would be these numbers here, which is the orbital inclination of the planet relative to your craft's orbital inclination. You want to go as close as possible to any of them. So I'm time warping there. And to match the inclination, you either thrust on normal or anti-normal. In this case, it's gonna be normal. Alright, thrusting up now. Oh wait, hold on. In this case, it would be anti-normal. Alright, if I start thrusting now, you can see that the number is decreasing. You want to get this to zero. Now you want to create a maneuvering node or maneuvering plan. In this case, I'm gonna plan to retrograde. And now you guys will see these dots here. This is where the craft is gonna be at the entry point, And this is where the planet is gonna be at the entry point. This one is gonna be where the craft is at the exit point, And this is where the planet is gonna be at the exit point. Point. Now you want to play around with the maneuvering node to get them as close as possible. You can see that they are getting closer and closer there. You want to do this slowly until they finally touch. And there we go, we got the capture. Now you want to execute the maneuver. We've been captured. I'm gonna delete the maneuvering node here. And now we just go there, basically. <laughs> That's why you want to make sure you save the game first, because they can overshoot sometimes. And... We're getting captured. Oh. And... You want to do this manually? Almost. Almost there. And there we go, just slow down. And you're basically in the planet's uh, sphere of influence now. From here it should be straightforward, you just retrograde. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to land on planets at this point. Obviously there are more efficient methods and calculations out there. And how to calculate your timing so that you burn the least amount of fuel and stuff. But this is basically the simplest way to get captured by any planet on Kerbal Space Program 2. So that's the simplest way to get captured by any planet on Kerbal Space Program 2. Whoops. Huh. That's not right. I think that was a glitch. <laughs> there we go. We don't have any hit damage yet on what the... Whoa. Whoa. What was that? Well... Alright, I think I slowed down too late. Time for the backup plan. Uh, my parachute is not deployed. <laughs> well... <laughs> 